Hey guys, it's going to be a one take. Um, I worked from 6 till 2. It was a pretty good shift, a little bit stressful at the end, but um, that's okay. It doesn't matter because um, now I'm home. I got home and like, I, I stayed back and did like an hour of unpaid overtime. I was talking shit for a lot of it. But then I was sitting, oh, I came back at like 3.30 maybe. Took Maggie for a walk, it got to about 4.30 and I was absolutely exhausted. I was laying in bed with the electric blanket on because it's winter in Melbourne. Um, it had my oil, essential oil diffuser on. Emily! No, she's left the, the door open when... Mags! When I can hear the, uh, the bloody <laughs> dryer and stuff. The dryer and the washing machine going. Um, so yeah, I managed to not be able to stay off a nap and... Only, thank, thankfully, only now in 45 minutes because Emily got home from work at about quarter past five and woke me up. Um, hey, baby dog. So I'm glad she did that. Uh, woke up, chilled for a bit, meditated, went for a short walk. Pretty much at the moment, I'm just trying to make sure I'm reaching my 10,000 steps. Um, I am really, really, really desperate for my injuries to get better. So I'm doing no running until we have a tra trail run on Sunday. We'll see how we go with that. If I'm still injured, I probably won't do it. Um, I mean, I paid the money to do it a long time ago, so it wouldn't be a great loss. Isn't that right, Papa? I was mainly just checking if it's still recording because the camera's having so many issues. It's like a decade old, this camera. I really should look at getting a new RX100 because I do love the cameras and the quality. I think getting a new one, I'll love the new one just as much. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm on like 9,100 steps. I'm almost there. Uh, it's only 7.42, so I would imagine I'm not going to be tired too, um, too early. So I'll try and read and hopefully switch up a little bit from technology. Um, feeling really good though, like I can't wait till I can run again. And I'll be honest, it's a lot easier to, in my mind at the moment to go for a run than to go cycling. Part of it is, and I don't know if I'm creating this illusion in my head, but I don't have all the proper gear for cycling to make it comfortable for longer rides. So I have the padded seat to put over the thing, but ideally I'd have Nicks to wear. And now the ones that I own are way too small for me. I'm really strongly considering buying some extra large Nicks um, or something like that that will fit me right now so that I can just wear them right now. But I can't decide if I want to take the chance of buying them online for slightly cheaper or just go into a store and forking out, trying them on and forking out like 150 bucks for a really good pair that I like. I think it's probably going to be the latter because I can't be bothered waiting on shipping for one and two. I just, yeah, I really want to get it over and done with. I think what might be a good thing to do, well, I was going to say after I go scuba diving on Wednesday, but I'm probably going to be very salty and not wanting to try and nix. So we'll see how we go. I'll get them at some point. Um, I really wish I had a proper working exercise bike. Um, the one we got from Kmart isn't the worst thing in the world. It's just the pedals that suck. Uh, it was only 99 bucks. I'm in the market for a better spin bike. There's one that I've found that's like six to 700. Problem with it is I don't think it has a display that shows you how far you've gone and stuff like that, which I think is a bit of a must. Obviously I have a gym membership and gyms are open at the moment. So if I really could be bothered and really wanted to, I'd be going to the gym right now to go on the spin bike. And I also considered going for a bike ride after work, but I just wasn't feeling it. I'm very excited next week to start my lifting program. And yeah, I just, but I really managed my injury and I think I need to just focus a lot more on cross training as opposed to getting so focused on the one thing, make sure I hit all of my lifting sessions per week, make sure I'm getting 10,000 steps a day. And then when it comes to cardio, alternate from running, cycling, whatever works best for me. Anyway, um, <clears throat> feeling really good otherwise. I was supposed to start work at three o'clock tomorrow and finish at 11 and then into a day off where I was going to go scuba diving and stuff in the morning. But thankfully it got changed to nine to five. So I'm going to get to have a really chill evening tomorrow evening. And um, then I'm going to go scuba diving. It will also be quite um, relaxed and I'll be able to have a proper amount of sleep and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling massively. I've been eating really well still. Um, on my morning shifts, I'm not too fussed about having a barn me for lunch because it's pretty decent like serving size and stuff like that. And I don't tend to eat breakfast when I start at 6 a.m. So I had one today from a new bakery or a bakery that we've just discovered near my work. And I'm like, oh, that's amazing. So I'm probably gonna get it tomorrow now that I'm working nine to five, but then I'm afternoon for the rest of the week. So I 
and on night shift as well after that but two afternoons and then night shift so it's my last opportunity for a while i think to have a barn meet tomorrow so i'm gonna enjoy the hell out of it <clears throat> i'm talking absolute smack right now i'm just absolutely rambling so i'm gonna go thanks for watching hope you're doing well take care and i'll see you tomorrow bye